It's night and day. Night and day back again. Yes, back in the world of Detroit Become Human. It's Kara's car. Indeed. Alice is a family. Luther's close. Close. Oh, if there's something on the dash, we gotta poke it. Oh, you're right. Luther's close. Close to what? Close to snapping <laughs> Alice's neck in half? Close to murdering things. Gonna use it. There we go. Wow. That's what we wanted. Yeah, some nice smooth James. <laughs> is this it? Oh. Oh, nice. Look out that window. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's oh. village after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be alright. We're almost there. Huh. You would think we would already be at the Detroit, or at the Michigan-Canada border. Yeah. The United States-Canada border. After so much traveling, I can't imagine it's going to take that long to get there. And Detroit's a big city. Yeah. But come on. <laughs> you got a car. Yeah, it doesn't take like weeks to get somewhere. Right. We're not going cross-country. <laughs> that isn't how it is. Wow. I mean, the tunes are nice, but... I kind of want to... Is this really it? <laughs> <laughs> we have to sit here and just do nothing? And pan this camera back and forth? <laughs> well, I don't have to pan the camera, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a creative choice, though. Look at this. It's comfy seat. Wow. It seems nice. This seems like it would be awesome to sleep in. Like, there's none of those, like, center console things you have to worry about. You can just, like, lay down. Aw. Oh. That sucks. <laughs> that has to be retractable or I'm not buying one of these. <laughs> Maybe if you use the radio more, like turn it to a different channel. Oh, okay. With all androids being turned <laughs> over yeah. to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools I should have just stayed on the music until Water we arrived at Canada then. <laughs> and network failures are no problems. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? <laughs> wow. That's what I was doing. Yeah. Did you not recognize that? Okay. Yeah. Whoa, Rotato. Yeah. Rotato the Robato. Oh. Where's Luther? Oh. So he's just gonna stay in there forever. Luther Vondros is always, always ahead. He One always step ahead. knows what to do. Talk to Rose, no. You could talk to Rose. I'm over here, Rose. You talk to me. <laughs> yeah. You wanna, you wanna help me, you gotta come find me. <laughs> Whose people are taking over, Rose? Mine. This Luther. is Android country now. Yeah. Luther, take care of her. <laughs> Alice, don't look away. This is your future now. Yeah, you need to see what's about to happen to your kind. They're really gonna let me get this far away. Wow, they're really, uh, if you just walk off into the street, police will pick you up or something. She gets hit by a car. Yeah, yeah. Car exactly. story ends. Okay. Oh, there we there go. We That's the red bar I was looking for. We didn't turn off the car. That's, that's irresponsible. <laughs> Burning fuel probably, sources. Probably has, like, atomic energy or something in, in this right. 20 years in the future they have this much advancement <laughs> yeah it's 20 years of infinite in yeah. future yeah hey Rose is she clapping a little further on that way there's a large freighter called Jericho when you get there find Marcus he will help you the last bus for the border leaves at midnight you absolutely have to be on it you'll be safer on the other side it's not much but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. 
Let me know when you make it over there, all right? Okay, we'll call you and Be careful. get you arrested for aiding and abetting. <laughs> Luther needs help too, man. <laughs> He's just as girls. wanted. They did not hang around. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's just like using Luther as this figure of, like, okay, yeah, you can protect us, but when crap hits the fan, you're the first to die off. Locate okay, Jericho. So how does Rose make... know about Marcus? Yeah, definitely. I don't know, like, how Marcus came to trust Rose in the... anyway. How did this all happen? Luther, are you leading or following, buddy? Oh, you have to go up the street, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, where those it's shiny just... things are, I guess. Oh, well, there's the boat right ahead of us. Right, okay. Makes sense. I mean, we can't get into Jericho now because Margaret's busted the entrance up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That was easy. Oh! Oh! Right to Connor, things are picking oh. up. Oh, snap. <laughs> this is so cool. He's a little bit more efficient about this than Marcus was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all gonna meet a Jericho at once, it seems. Man, crap's really hitting the fan. Maybe we're yeah. getting near the end of the game. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I was thinking we were actually going to transition into the war, but maybe that'll just be, like, post-credits or actual credits kind of oh, end crap. scenes. It's, uh, it seems like a human uh, brigade, like a block. Okay. That's not cool. Yeah. We should take one of these climbing paths, Luther. I definitely think a climbing path is the best case scenario here. Luther. But Luther is not happy with that decision. Luther. Luther. <laughs> Bring me my Alice back if you want to go that way, Luther. That's my Alice. <laughs> Luther. You just borrowed that Alice. Stop I walking away like you Alice. own the Alice. There you go. Stop right there. Stop Alice. What? Don't give me this clang me. <laughs> clang me. This isn't clang me and Lacey. Uh, Hello. Uh, Luther, give me a boost. I'm going to be garbage woman. <laughs> garbage woman? Yes. It's like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there seems like there's so many ways to get in there. I don't see Not why to you... Luther. Not yeah. to the game developers. We have got one path. Chances are, like, Luther's going to sacrifice himself or something. And then, uh, we're going to have to run into Jericho. Yeah, I, I can't see this going down without a confrontation. Yeah. Especially because Luther still has that giant android thing on his face. Oh, fade to black. Oh, never mind. Those were not a blockade. I guess those were androids. Huh. That was the welcoming committee. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. Seriously? Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> You're in a place where warmth isn't necessary. <laughs> but they did have fire tubs. Yeah. So. Where's... what was her name? Lucy? Lucy, yeah. I mean, I guess we don't really need help. Okay. Can't see anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talk to you dudes? Yeah, everyone's ignoring any new people. I feel like you should be guarding this with your life. Really? Like, anyone that comes in the door should be questioned. Right, if they don't, especially if they look human. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Are all the androids smart enough to recognize a the, Kara model immediately? Right, yeah, I guess that could be the case. I've never seen another model like Luther, though. True, yeah. Maybe he's, yeah, like you were saying before, like sports guy or something like that. So, that's like only professional football player or something. There was one other super, yeah, a super large guy on Jericho. Who was oh. in the corner, like when we first saw the child? Oh, that's yeah, heavy duty. That's that guy right there, actually. Huh. All right. So that looks like a warm place for Alice to sit. We can explore a little bit first, then. In case yeah. seems like we can't go. Yeah. Organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In 
any your case, mouth the danger of a third world war isn't working out for you, buddy. Yeah. The, uh, for the moment. They really uh, fudged up the. I love, like, <laughs> even though we chose this peaceful path, it's just like, they're monsters! Yeah. yeah. They're murdering us all. And public opinion had improved. Yeah, it's indifferent now. I can just imagine if we did chaos. Like, Okay. So people are having yeah. it, like fighting for a cause at least. I guess <clears throat> the newscasters would have been the same dialogue, but if we had been more violent, then the, oh, the yeah, public the, opinion would have been like, we gotta take them out now! Right, yeah, yeah. That's Call true. the arms. Hmm. Yeah, that seems very true. Alright, Alice. We do have a lot of guns, so I don't know. How do you feel? I'm hot and I'm cold at the same time. Oh, she still has a fever? Yeah. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. Yes, please. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk yeah. about this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back. They're really forcing that reveal to come as late as possible. Yep. Luther, you could have told her before, dude. You were happy that she was unaware. You're... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> as... As... Cars walking away. She's... <laughs> and just... The whole thing stops. Find Deviant Leader. Oh, don't get oh. attention. Interesting. So maybe we can just look at the TVs like everybody else. I mean, honestly, here, he should be pulling back his ski cap just to show that he's an android. Right. Maybe... Unless he ditched his thing. Maybe people know. Oh. oh. Especially, yeah. She knows what we, we look like. Stand by and let them slaughter us. So everyone else shouldn't have a problem with this, just Kara. Yeah. Maybe Alice as well. Alright, so... Am I trying to get to that middle thing there? I guess so. Maybe that's just something we can analyze. Yeah. Like, oh look, they have guns! Right, yeah. So yeah, we have to watch for Kara, Alice. I don't think Luther knows who we are, so that's not a problem. I'm not catching anyone's attention by yeah. looking at your bombs. Hey, bombs. I'm inconspicuously looking at your bombs. Bye. Time to go away. Got. Let's walk away. Oh wow. So they're gonna blow this whole thing up. That seems dangerous to have <laughs> ready to go. By. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they plan on doing something big soon. Hello. You're lost. You're looking for something. Hey, Lucy. That's true. You're looking for yourself. Oh, man. Oh, there's another Luther. Hey, it's Flippy Changey. <laughs> We're plopping the changey flips. I'm Kara again. Flipping the change. Yeah, this is <laughs> kind of a disorienting a little bit. Just plop to the next one. It's fun. I'm finding the Merc. Mm. They opened fire on us even though we were unarmed. Are you another North? The place was covered oh, no. with blue blood. Stop having PTSD. 
Oh, that's gonna fix that. <laughs> Hello, are you a Luther? I think he is. Yeah, that is a Luther. Yep. Can't tell. Happy make Luther pants. Is that what the model's called? Yeah, that's... <laughs> Luther's the Mark II. There he is. There's Marcus. Where? Oh, he's yeah. in there. Yeah. He's in his headquarters. All right, let's not go in there then. Look around for anything to touch. Like Kara, in this scene, you should be running, and in the yeah. last scene, Connor should have been running. I have five minutes. Might as well walk as slowly yeah. as I possibly can. Yeah. John Lee waltz over there. What else do they look like? Uh, regular people in general, whether they want to be free or not. <laughs> <laughs> Do they look like blue-haired Tracys? <laughs> Some of them. That one guy just comes on the TV. Oh, one of them was fine as hell. <laughs> 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 we gotta make sure these robots don't kill us. I need a chance with that. Blue-haired Tracys and blonde-haired Chloe's. <laughs> I wonder if that's a possibility. Like, if an android could fall in love with a human. That's like even a thing. What are you doing, Marcus? Hello, I need a passport. You Marcus? You look tired. I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Marcus, you know that humans don't. Did you forget about Carl? Yeah, I don't... She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I mean, Carl was the whole reason that I feel like he rised up through all this. Right. Just because Carl's son was a jackass, I didn't think he was... I thought he was going to be more the voice of reason against people like North. Right, right, yeah, exactly. Like, no, we can live together. Because I guess some of these androids have only seen hardship. So it, it's kind of understandable. But then, yeah, in Marcus's perspective, the only time he's seen really hardship is when Carl's son got into the picture. Right. So... And that was brutal. Yeah. But he knows both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, I guess, do we have to confront Connor? Go downstairs and turn into Connor? Or we have to go back to, uh... Yeah, return to Alice. Or, I wonder if Connor even exists as an AI. I doubt it. Alice. Oh, she found another Alice. Yeah. Someone needs you to be. 
Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Luther strategically planted this Alice right in front of her path <laughs> so she would know. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to break the news, but uh, yeah. You don't want to talk to the bus? Fine. We're not talking. I'm just going to put this right here. Yeah. <laughs> Let this gonna, do the talking for me. Yeah. I'm going to ruin this whole thing. Can you talk to her? To oh, fake Alice? Alice? Yeah. <laughs> fake Alice? <laughs> nope. <laughs> fake Alice. That poser Alice. <laughs> yeah, she's... We don't even know if she's... Yeah, Free will. maybe she's like, yeah. I guess I assume she is since she's here. Yeah, I can only imagine so. Oh, I can go in here now. Hey, dead people. Wow, this is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that Lucy? Yeah, that is Lucy. Lucy, all, what the hell, man? All her brains are flying, flopping off. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's... Hey, shelf guy. That's kind of terrible. That's a terrible <laughs> existence. <laughs> How you doing, shelf guy? Yeah, shelf guy. <laughs> Hey, there's another, there's fake shelf guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's not as, he's not as hip happy as the other one. Uh, Lucy had this like preeminent holy position before. She had her mysterious room and everyone like, yeah. paid her homage and now she's just shoved on the floor in the corner. <laughs> Marcus didn't improve life for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus like, go stand in the closet. You've done your work. Hang out with the other dying robots. <laughs> <laughs> you need nothing from me. Okay, I guess this is supposed to be a heartfelt situation. I guess. I wonder how many people didn't see this coming by this point. Cause yeah, it seems pretty... Uh, at the Ralph section, it was kind of well hidden. But right. at the Zlatko section, it seemed like they were making it pretty they, obvious. Yeah, there. they definitely hint it pretty hard there. So, uh... Yeah, I think this was inevitable, this this whole thing. It's just a matter of how obvious that other people see it. Kara, is there something wrong? Oh, wow. Oh. Who would be destined? Yeah, really. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Now we will. Yeah. Yes. Forever. I guess androids don't age. So, I mean, this is going to be an infinite family thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Interesting. This looks dark. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Joshua, are you mad now? You were support of the last raid. Really? Rally. Oh, uh, righteous. righteous, yeah. Determined means we're going to shoot someone. <laughs> we couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free? If no one is left alive. Hmm. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. Huh? This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I mean, dialogue is what we've been going for the so far. We've been trying, yeah. I mean, it's working. It's just very, very slow, like public opinion-wise. Yeah, but it's working with public opinion, just not with the authorities. Yeah, right now. yeah. If we want to stay this path, we have to win public opinion to win the authorities. Yeah. And that could be a slow process. Confrontation, we're low on supplies. They, they even said it ourselves, our people are dying. So, 
it would seems like we don't have much of an army to fight with. Stay hiding, I don't know. That's not really an option if you want to further anything. Yeah, I think we still stay the course. I think dialogue is the best bet also. Yeah, switching into full gun mode now is going to be pointless. Yeah, definitely. I mean, maybe a small raid here or there to get to supplies, mm -hmm. but it sounds like they still have androids in other places where they could potentially get supplies. It seems like it would be easier for them to get supplies now that there's 10 million of them sort of thing, but uh, whatever. This is the point where the story is actually this saying is... that they're at. Right, right. They're not facing pure extinction already, right. so dialogue still seems like an option. I think, yeah, it's a still a viable option. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Not if we have a few extra Simons to spare, they won't. <laughs> North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. I agree with Marcus. Go alone. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Purple, Brontosaurus, Jello Mold. I found the perfect words. Thoughtful? They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. Oh, that's not very thoughtful. <laughs> they can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. You're welcome. Today, <laughs> a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole the truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Oh. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I'm glad I met you. Link hands with me. Feel that magic. Yeah. Love, baby. Lerve! Yeah. Go for Lerve. <laughs> She's like, oh, I see. This is what you wanted to do with that painter friend of yours. <laughs> I can see your memories of him. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> I guess I can do that. I'll go join the others. Don't join them. Join me in matrimony. <laughs> Look after yourself. Don't say it like that. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> you could say both those things. <laughs> I guess it's better we kept that thing than left it with North, because North seems to have a very small window in which he will uh, activate this. I don't know, that's like us going meta on the game again. I guess, like, yeah. Like, trying to take it for a reason other than what's stated. Right. Oh no, is he going to talk to Amanda about this? Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Or he's flashing back. Right. Oh no, sending no, he actually he's had sending that reports, goal. yeah. Three. This got interesting. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Of course we save North. That's not Will, that's Marcus. 
Oh, that's awesome teamwork. Nice. Great Final job, North. Son. <laughs>